Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to create a custom overview section for the property page using custom template with the text with property details widget. We showcase an overview section created with the text with details widget in our Orlando demo. This is the section. And next I will show the steps that you need to take to create a similar section in your site. First, I will create the custom template page. I will go to pages, add new. I will add the page title. I will select the property page template. I will disable title, search, header and the sidebar. And I will publish the page. Since I will create the custom template with Elementor, I will click Edit with Elementor. I will start building the custom template. I will quickly add the property title widget and the widget for gallery. So I will look for the title widget. This is the one. Next, I will add a gallery. I will quickly set the gallery widget. I will set the section to be full width and to be stretched. And below, I will add a new column where I will add the text with property details for the overview section. I will add the new section. I will set it to be stretched. From advanced, I will set a value for the margin top. Next, I will add an inner section. I will add it here. In this inner section, I will need to have six columns. So I will duplicate the column to add more. I have now six columns. And now I will start setting each column to show the elements that I want from the property page. I will look for the text with property details widget. This is the one. With drag and drop, I will add it in the first column. Here I will display the property category. From this list, I will look for the property category and copy the code here. This is the code. I will copy this code and paste it here. I will set it to be displayed in center. Below the category value, I will display a text. I will add it with the text editor widget. With drag and drop, I will add the widget below the category. Here I will add category word and also set it to align center. The first element is done. Now I will edit the column and change settings to make it look better. And now I will move on to the next section. Here I will display bedrooms. First I will look for the text with property details widget. I will look for the bathroom field. This is the code that I need to use. I will copy and paste it here. I will add an icon in front of the code and I will set the text to be aligned to center. I will add a text editor below this field. I will add a text and change alignment. Also from the column settings, I will change here the widget space. Going further to the next section, here I will add bedrooms. I will do the same as I did before. I will add the text with property details widget. Here I will copy the code for bedrooms. I will paste it here. I will change alignment. I will add an icon. Below I will add text with the text editor. I will add bedrooms here. I will change alignment. I will also change the column settings to make it look better. For the next field, I will do the same. I will add text with property details. I will add here a custom field, the MLS one. I will copy the code. I will paste it here. I will change alignment. I will add the text editor. I will add the text here and change alignment. Also for the column settings, I will change the widget space. Next, I will look for the text for the property details widget. I will add it here. Here I will use the property year field. I will copy the code. I will paste it here. I will change alignment. I will add the text editor. I will change the text, change alignment and change the widget space. And for the last section, I will add the same widget. I will use property size. I will copy the code. I will paste it here. I will change alignment. I will add an icon. I will add the text editor widget and change 
the text. I will change alignment and change the widget space value. The section is now done. You can leave it as it is or you can set borders as we did in our demo. I will show how to set borders as well. This needs to be done from the column settings for each element. So you will need to select the column, go to style, go to border. Here select the border type. Here you will need to set the border width. I will set a value only for the left one but you can add values if you want to display all borders. You will see that the border will show here. I will do the same for the second element. I will go to style, border, set solid, add a value for left width and you can do this for all columns. Next you will need to add the elements that you want to display on the property page. For the moment I will update the changes made and I will go to admin to show how you can assign this template to your property pages. First I will show how to assign this template globally. This means that it will apply for all your properties. For that you will need to go to VP Residence Options, Design, Property Page Settings. Here you will need to select the custom template that you just created and click Save Changes. If you want to apply this template only for certain properties, you will need to go to Properties, edit the property where you want to apply the template and in Appearance Options, for the option use a custom property page template you will need to select the custom template that you want to apply to this property and update the changes. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.